1989, one of the most powerful hurricanes in American history, Hurricane Hugo, hit Charleston, South Carolina, causing more than $7 billion worth of damage and 57 deaths in the Carolinas. Yet Drayton Hall, located in one of the most heavily impacted areas, emerged with only minor damage. The staff from the National Trust believes that was a result of the years spent developing an emergency preparedness plan, focusing particularly on hurricanes. The house had been inspected top to bottom, special roofing installed, an old tree that could fall in the house had been removed, and they kept pre-fitted plywood on hand to cover the windows. The hurricane brought serious flooding, but because of careful planning at Drayton Hall, Hurricane Hugo was not a complete disaster. Hurricanes, fires, and floods naturally come to mind when we speak of disasters. But we also have to think of subtler threats, like leaking pipes or termite infestations, which cause billions of dollars in damage every year. We also have to keep in mind human threats, from the motor vehicle that jumps the curb to vandalism and burglary. On September 11, 2001, we witnessed another kind of disaster we hadn't faced before in this country. The tragic events of that day have necessitated increased vigilance and preparedness by law enforcement programs, such as the United States Park Police. Teresa Chambers is chief of the United States Park Police. What price would you pay to preserve a page or more of America's history? To what lengths would you go to protect some of our country's most precious treasures? What if the icons and artifacts that symbolize our past and represent our country's freedoms were suddenly missing, destroyed, damaged or discarded through an act of malice or terrorism? What can we do to prevent such a disaster from occurring? Throughout this videotape, the importance of advanced planning will be emphasized. Planning is a way of life for the law enforcement community especially following the acts of September 11, 2001. We must plan for any eventuality and be certain to use every available resource to evaluate potential threats and prevent future crimes up to and including terrorist attacks. How will we in the law enforcement community be successful at our mission? Well, our success begins with you, those who care and maintain our valuable assets. Every employee needs to understand his or her responsibility to notice unusual behavior or suspicious activity or things that are just out of the ordinary. Often you're the only person that's in a position to see those actions. And when you do, report them immediately to a supervisor or a law enforcement officer. Don't be shy or afraid that what you've seen may be unimportant. Your vigilance and your encouragement of others to be aware and forthcoming are critical to preventing the abuse, theft, and vandalism of these national treasures. You are our front line of defense.